If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mine. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raise up. When you Good morning. The chain family, it's your boy Boomin, coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead and do all the things that the algorithm likes for me. Got my coffee locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. Talking about V Chain today, we got Exo Worlds. Talking about NFTs here. Shout out to Exo Worlds, putting out some amazing gameplay. They recently completed their closed beta, so hopefully we should be seeing a game really, really, really soon. Let's take a look at what they have to say about VeChain's token bound accounts. Are pumping everyone up and taking NFTs to the whole new level. Let's take a look at what they have to say, guys. Your NFTs having a wallet, it is just the next level of maturity for that asset class. And let's say you wanted to do like an extra worlds, you want to get an alliance and you want to have a mutual fund or whatever. You have to you'd have to build a separate smart contract clause to deal with voting and a pool of resources. Now you could basically just do that with the planet. If you have an NFT contract that has some kind of voting or whatever, it operates directly on the NFT. You don't have to have a separate, you know, economic layer to deal with that. And it also means the NFTs are like their own institutions. They're not just, you know, they're not just JPEGs or characters or game files. They're their own, like, they're their own trust, like a financial trust. And, and you can do all sorts with that. I'm like super pumped uh, what this means for for Exoworlds and Planet Barons and all the other projects out here. This is huge. Your NFT is having a wallet. It is just so the next that's level. that's Exoworlds there talking about NFTs. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think NFTs are going to be the focal point of the next bull run? Or do you guys think we already had a run of NFTs? Um, I don't know. I think some NFTs are going to pop you know digital art does tend to hold its value and as people you know make a ton of money in crypto they're going to want to put their money in other forms so we'll have to see just let me know what you guys think down below let's go ahead and move on so uh we have a coin telegraph article about v chain this is pretty cool it came out about a week ago uh, everything you need to know about VeChain, strong fundamentals, real life use cases, huge potential. I'm not going to go over the whole entire thing right here, but it is good to see, you know, VeChain being shown some love, especially on a big site like Cointelegraph. Uh, so VeChain, how does it work? VeChain is a smart contract compatible blockchain. Design and enhance supply chain and accelerate mass adoption of blockchain technology. What is VeChain? The public blockchain called VeChain Thor is intended for widespread use of blockchain technology by companies of all sizes, acting as the building block for resilient and expandable enterprise blockchain ecosystem. According to VeChain, Ethereum remains unsuitable for running large scale commercial decentralized applications while being a significant technological milestone. This is because Ethereum does not have robust governance framework to allow for quick, transparent protocol changes to address issues or breakthroughs. So, VeChain's meta transaction features we're not going to go through this whole thing, but multi party payment, controllable transaction lifestyle, life cycle. Multitask transaction, transaction dependency. We got the V chain POA consensus mechanism. We are on POA 2.0. POA 2.0 introduced in 2022 enhances the system by improving scalability, security, and data finality. It addressed challenges of POA 1 and aimed to offer a more robust consensus mechanism reflecting V chain's commitment to technological evolution. We got talking about governance, the community elected steering committee elected by stakeholders is responsible for strategic decision making and overseeing V chain improvement proposals. Dual token economy, V chain has two tokens, V chain and V though you can both pick them up on Coinbase as we speak. Thank goodness. V chain is the primary token for creating value or smart money within the ecosystem and enabling investment, transactional activities and stakeholder voting. Vito, on the other hand, is used as energy or gas to power transactions and smart contracts on the VeChain Thor blockchain. 
Veto is generated by holding the ET and provides a mechanism to decouple the cost of using the blockchain from the marketplace of the chain. So that is pretty cool, guys. I'm going to go ahead and scroll very, very slowly <laughs> so that you guys can pause if you guys want to read it. We all know the OGs here know. So this is, uh, you know, a review for them. But if you are new, I really would encourage you to uh, pause it or, you know, go to the article itself. I'm going to go ahead and retweet it so you can find it on our Twitter page there for all things VeChain and crypto. So, almost done here. Pretty long article. I thank Coin Telegraph for giving VeChain the time of day. You know, it's not like them to do so. So it's always good to see some publicity, even if it is, you know, a minor article. That's definitely good to see. All right, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, short video today, nothing too crazy going on. 93 days left to the next Bitcoin block having, and it looks like the market is kind of moving sideways, which is fine by me. Um, I got a couple other coins to pick up, uh, you know, some more V chain, some more Cardano, some meme coins here and there. And we're literally just stacking, sticking to chilling, guys. There's really nothing else really to talk about especially in the v-chain ecosystem flare tokens are pumping for some reason i don't know why but hey that's good to see and yeah that's all i got for you today keep chopping i'll talk to you later have a good day bye